Hi, hello. So you are welcome to Bona and Boma. Okay, so today we are going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of getting married to an elderly man. When I'm t when I talk about an elderly man, I mean someone who you are 15, 12, or 20 years older than him, or probably 30 years older than the person. So we are going to um, start with the advantages, then we go to the disadvantages. So number one advantage of getting married to an elderly man is that he is more likely to be matured when I talk about maturity I'm talking about mental maturity the person is able to lead and guide you to make some decisions that will help you in life we we'll talk about career planning talk about um, financial goals talk about anything you might want to be the person is more matured enough to lead you and guide you to making those what um, uh, beneficial steps number two is that the person is more established when you get married to an elderly person, this is not one you're going to start crying about money, start crying about your needs and your wants. The person is already established. What am I trying to say? He's worked enough to gather some money down for you. So you are all ready to go. Like, well, not always the case, but usually um, elderly men are, you know, they have more money than a younger person. Um, for that matter, if you're looking up to get married to a man or get married and you might not suffer, you just want things to be well you, you might you wouldn't want to build go through that building stage of your of your life with your partner get married to an elderly person is the best option for you okay so number three is the person is spiritually mature as Christians as we grow older we tend to um, get closer to the Lord we we tend to grow um, you know stronger with the Lord have a very good personal relationship with the person uh, with the Lord well, this is not always the case but it's 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 more likely that you will find an elderly man who is what more closely related to God and number four is that the person is more responsible what am I trying to say an elderly man is more responsible this is one of the time he's he's joking with his life or playing around or being non serious about his his life this time this person is more focused you know he's more experienced in everything that he's doing so when you get married to such a man it is priority first he, he he's just going to go straight to whatever thing that he wants to do he's not uh, you know now trying to let me try this if it doesn't work let me go here you know when you start life with your husband this is not the time to be trying trial and error and those things but a man who's already 40 years and upwards he has been through a lot in life and at the point that he is he's not joking with his life he's just focused and then his mind is made up about certain decisions and, and for that matter they become more responsible of their life they take responsibility of their errors and their mistakes so when you get married to an elderly man these are some of the benefits or the advantages that you might get okay so number for man more to support him you know spiritually physically and everything because as they grow older they tend to lose certain things and being around such a person even when as a woman you want so many roles or to play a lot of responsibilities or duties in the life like taking care of him this is that if you want to that means you have to get married to an elderly person to exhibit all these care and love qualities okay so number six is that it helps in what less cheating at this moment a 40 year old man or a 37 year old man who is getting married or 45 year old man who's getting married this is not the time to get married and switch up again and go here and go there none of that so if you are someone who is afraid of cheating and you really want to hit the nail on the head then it means that getting married to an elder person is likely the best for you yes we have christians who will not cheat who will never do that but we cannot say for all because we have christians who still have extramarital affairs and all those things so if you think that getting married to an elderly person will help i think that's the best opportunity for you is the best thing for you so getting married to an elderly man oh god 
yes you will have it i cannot assure you but it's likely you would have what you want and the last and sixth point for advantages of getting married to an elderly person is what um sexual experience uh, is more boosted because of age maybe the person had been married before or the person um yes if the person has been married before and then the person is now getting married to you then it's more likely that he is more experienced sexually and will give you a very great time in bed and you you're going to have a very good time okay so let me go quickly to the disadvantages let's go okay so we are going straight to the disadvantages of getting married to an elderly oh lord the disadvantages are always always you know worse and i tell you well let's go on ahead number one disadvantage of marrying an elderly man is there is a, a generational gap in modern trends you know when you're going to an occasion or you're dressing to go somewhere lord he wants to look in a certain way in a primitive way in a you know a thousand years back away and you being a young woman 27 30 years you you, you know you're just trying to look at trying to hit the, oh god you're trying to rock yourself you know but he is just like um no please I can dress like this I can look like this so a lot of a generational gap the way he thinks the way he talks the way he behaves he want you to do certain things there is just a lot of difference in that and if you're a woman and if you're a woman if you are a woman who cannot really concentrate or who cannot really accept these things then I would I would advise you not to go in for an elderly person because it's oh lord is there's going to be a lot of headache okay so number two is that if they have all the children or they might be married before and and you know those kind of issues you you you're going to have to deal with it because you're going to be a stepmother a stepmother to already grown children while there's a responsibility that you are giving yourself so if you're somebody who doesn't like step mommy step daddy issues step children issues you want a fresh marriage from start it's not always the case though some do not have children but some do have children so whatever that you find yourself whichever way that you find yourself in you will have to deal with it so getting married to somebody who is elderly might the person might have children and that might be a problem in the marriage you have um, children coming in and going out and doing whatever as they please and you might not really like that okay so number three is that some sort of lordship in the marriage yes what am I trying to say an elderly person would want you to treat them in a certain way the demands of certain respects from you and it tends to be like a father and daughter relationship yes sir yes sir okay my okay daddy what's up wait, wait, wait. okay daddy i hear you i will do it look it just makes me laugh even sometimes when people ask me how how is daddy doing like that's my how i ask how is daddy doing i tend to laugh because <laughs> I, I i don't know but you see so you see that a a, a a woman gets married a younger woman gets married to an elderly man such as 45 years in the late 50s or late 40s the person tend to be like a father and a daughter kind of relationship and that isn't healthy either the person is supposed to be your partner you play with them you joke with them you know you go out with them go to occasions like you just feel fine with them but in this situation you are not going to have that so if you're somebody like me a sanguine and you always want your relationship to be you know all going noisy and all those things uh an elderly man isn't really the 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 right place for you to go okay so number four is that um, the person is controlling yes it happens when you get married to an elderly person because they are more experienced they have done certain errors before they are like trying to tell you do this do that don't go here don't go there because of the experiences that they have gathered throughout the years and that can be sometimes annoying and it can be controlling they don't know that they are really doing that but they are so if you don't want to be controlled if you don't want to be manipulated if you don't want to do things out of your will kindly consider a younger man but an elderly person do this don't go here I don't want you there and that is it he says this and that ends it so think about it okay so um, 
Number five is that the mind might die before your age. And we all know this part of our world, we have the cutoff um, age for, for men to be 60 or I don't know, yeah, 60 years. And you being 35 years and this man being 40, 45 years, he's more likely to die. In my family, my daddy was almost 50 to 20 years older than my mommy and he died and leaving him leaving a young widow behind with four children that wasn't easy on on her part even neither to us though we are what we are today by the grace of god but it really took a toll on her because she was very young she was very beautiful she was like 39 40 42 years and losing her husband with four kids oh god it was hell but thanks be to god everything is going well so if you're getting married to an elderly person there might be it's likely that he will die before you so you start to think about what are you going to do next when he's gone okay so the next thing is that and uh, number seventh point is that there are tendencies that he might not be excited we all know all our daddies and uh, you know how they are they tend to be very mature there are certain things they don't do there are certain movies certain things they don't watch you know certain dresses they don't Man, they can be boring. They can be so, so boring. So, so boring. If you're somebody who loves excitement, I mean, getting married to an elderly man isn't really the way. Especially especially a Christian marriage. You know? You know how the person might be a pastor, the person might be a youth leader, a choir leader, a this, a that, in the church. So certain roles he plays in the church will prevent them from being what you really want them to be. So if you're, if you're considering of getting married to an elderly man, kindly consider this. Okay, so the last point is that um, the most he ages or the more he ages the more his generator or the more his sexual machine begins to slow down yeah it begins to slow down what am i trying to say as a woman by the age of 40 45 that is when your hormones starts kicking in man so hormones starts kicking in your progesterone your oxytocin your whatever your what all the women hormones you can think about that is where they start hitting you so badly left to right to side every and that is the time your mother is like oh man i'm tired i can't go like a day or two i can't do this i can't do that you know they start have waist pain they have to have that and we all know imagine a woman you're in the mood and your man turns you down you can imagine how that is so for your information if you really want to keep your elderly man machine going that means you have to uh, invest a lot in exercise in good food in dieting and you know all those kind of good stuff to keep him going so that is up to you to decide what you want to do so don't I don't want you to say that I'm a Christian I will pray when the time comes I'm a Christian um, he, he just came to me to um, to get married to me so for that matter I know this is the will of God I am laying down the advantages and disadvantages for you to decide these are the real of life whether Christian or not you are not going to uh, um, not face them already as marriage we have a lot of warfare to face and now you go in for an elderly man who is 15 20 years older than you so these are the advantages and disadvantages of marrying an elderly man whether Christian or not you will face these realities and I wish you all the best Thank you so much for watching my videos and uh, whatever comments questions that you have in there I will answer to them and I will love it if you do share this video as well. So bye and have a very good day.